Madonna immobile, qual più mal vento, muta... I don't think so, no, but it is an extraordinary achievement. It is quite extraordinary. We can all see what it has. It has the ability to wave its arms around in a way a conductor might and get an orchestra to play more or less together, and that's very good. But what it doesn't have is emotion, of course, and it doesn't have a prepared interpretation based on experience, and I don't know whether it can be spontaneous. Can you program spontaneity <laughs> into something? <laughs> And, of course, working with singers, you have to accompany, which means that you have to have highly developed reflexes, which is like being a good orchestral player. You listen and you instantly adjust with reflexes. And that is, I would have thought, very difficult to program. Eye contact, well... Uh, that is very important for a conductor. You look at musicians just before they play something and establish contact. And, what, and, so, what, and what's the reason for that? Just to remind them that they need to play or is it just about sort of bringing them into the fold? Well, that's a very good way of putting it. What you do with eye contact is you give the player confidence to play well and you can also communicate feeling by eye contact. And it just generates a kind of close rapport, which is very important. You know, a lot of people don't realise what a skilled job it is to play in an orchestra because you read your music. Well, of course, you read your music, but you read the conductor. And the conductor is forever reacting to what you do. I mean, when you conduct an orchestra, I remember I've said somewhere that uh, it's not like driving a car, it's like riding a horse. It has a life of its own and an artistry of its own and an ensemble of its own, and you work with that. You don't just dictate where the beats come and people play with sort of too much obedience. Uh, yes, time. and so is it possible, I just wonder from a musician's point of view, is it possible that some musicians might rather like having a robe but rather than some of the, uh, well, let's, I don't know, maybe there's not a nice way to put it, some of the more cantankerous, overbearing personalities that sometimes pick up a conductor's battle. Yes, part of the orchestral player's world is humour about conductors. You know, we all like uh, jokes about authority figures. We joke about the government. We joke about the tax man. We joke about mothers-in-law. Do you know what I mean? Any figure with some authority gets a bit of humour. It's a way of coping. But I think an orchestral player in his heart of hearts realised that an orchestra can't function without a conductor, partly because of its size. Oh, 